Hey guys, good morning. It's like 7.30 in the morning, May 30th. So the boat's been in for a week as of today. It was one week ago today that we were, uh, the crane was here and everything like that. So in the last episode, we did a bunch of wiring. Now today, I'm going to finish that wiring. I've got to run a couple of new circuits right from the DC panel down through the bilge and up to that mass step bus bar that we did last week. Um, and then I'll be ready to drop the mast in because all the wiring will be there and ready. Um, the problem is it's uh, a bit breezy today. We've got like a sort of northwest thing going on. Um, it's supposed to peak at 11 a.m. by about... 20 knots so we don't have a lot of protection from the northwest out at the gin pole where we put the mast up so we'll see if we get the mast up today maybe we do maybe we don't i'd love to make a video to show you how we do that here um and give you guys some i guess sort of tips on doing that but right now the boat is bad like there it's just stuff everywhere it's uh quite a mess so um, i'm gonna run those uh there's three circuits i gotta run i'm gonna do that right now and then um yeah, and then I'm going to clean. I got to get everything cleaned up. I got, uh, yeah, a lot of cleaning to do. So I think we're okay. And then once that's all clean, I'm going to jet down to the other end and I'm going to check on the mast. And uh, I'm going to bring, there's the extra starter battery right there. So I'm going to bring that with me in the car down to the mast so that I can test the lights and rewire the mast and do whatever needs to be done there. So um, it's a little bit colder today. It's like going to be 71 or 70 degrees tops. So maybe even like high 60s, I think. So uh, we'll see how much we get done, but we're on it. Let's go. Okay guys, I got all the circuits run. It's all beautiful, everything's wonderful. Um, I got the, the toilet all hooked up now. I got the LED on, you see it's glowing a little blue there. It's a lot easier with the nature's head to tell when the P thing is full, if there's a light behind it, believe it or not. Especially in the middle of the night, that was the hard part. Um, Cause all, it's all dark in here, right? Um, so you don't want to overflow that ever. So any steps you can take to make that thing work better, you should. Um, otherwise that toilet's amazing. I would never buy anything else. I'm so glad I bought that. Anyway, uh, all the circuits are wired. Now I have to clean up. And then the only other circuit that I have left to wire is the water pump, like the fresh water pump to make the taps work. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna get started on that. I'm gonna clean up everything first. So this is just a disaster area. There's like little bits of wire and old wire that I ripped out last week and all that kind of stuff. So there's one down there. There's a bunch up here. It's just, it's endless. So I'm gonna do a little bit of tidy tidy, get it all nice and clean. And once it's all clean, I'm going to run a circuit for the water, the pressure water system. And then I think that's it. I think that's all the wiring for now. The stern light works. I have new nav lights I have to install. Um, so I'll do have to do some stuff there. But, you know, that doesn't have to be right now. Anyway, let's get at it. Okay guys, we're at the mast now. Uh, I had to run back to town to get something to eat because I don't really trust eating the hot dogs at the local variety store right now. COVID-19 and all that crazy. Better to be safe. Um, got some more stuff. We got the curtains for the boat and all that kind of stuff. And we're at our mast now. Here she is. We got it wrapped in the, uh, I don't know, what do you call that? Saran wrap. You buy it at the dollar store, it comes on a wand. And it makes the mast really neat and tidy for the winter keeps all your lines good and everything and I wrapped the bottom so we didn't get any birds nests this year so it's supposed to blow uh, 15 to 20 all day from the northwest our gin pole is here 
which means the boat's gonna be pretty exposed, but it actually doesn't seem too, too bad. Um, the reason I have to get the mast down quick is you see they sit on these trees, these mast trees, and they're just in the ground. We got like a concreted thing down there. Um, so the mast trees come out in the, in the summer and we got a whole bunch of landscaping. This is all really low right here, the grass. See the mud over here. So we'd like to get a bunch of trucks full of uh, soil and build this up so that it stops flooding. But to do that, we have to move the mass trees. And to do that, we have to get all the mass put on. So we have two weeks to get the mass put on right now. But honestly, I'm just, I gotta do a couple wire runs for the, the spreader lights. I'll show you guys. I don't know how many of you guys have seen our spreader lights or my spreader lights. Oh man, it's a swamp. Anyway, they're right here. So they're four by four lights uh, meant for the front of a Jeep or something, you know? Uh, and then so that, oh man, it's so deep. Oh, the water's cold. And then the anchor lights right here. And that's just an Atwood, um, what are they, two nautical mile or whatever the Coast Guard regulation is. Oh, oh, oh that water is cold. Anyway, oh, but um, I don't trust the wires anymore. So we're gonna rewire everything. That's the plan. So we use the old wire as a snake and all that stuff. But anyway, I've got my battery here. Got my tools, We're ready to do some testing. Okay, so I thought maybe I could get away with running uh, just a new wire and not having to deal with all the extra wires, but I zip tied them all together all the way down the mast with like three zip ties every 18 inches with the tails pointed in different directions so it wouldn't rattle inside the mast. So we are getting this mast today. There's just no way around it. It just totally sucks. Anyway, gotta do what you gotta do. Okay guys, Ooh, it's been a long day. Ugh, a lot of cleaning, a lot of uh, different stuff. Um, my buddy Bill came over with his old uh, 70s Merc 7.5 long shaft outboard, um, which is the same motor my dad had on his sailboat when I was a kid, weirdly. 
Um, but I never took it apart as a kid. So today he came over, he had a carb kit that we were going to do. It hasn't been running um, at all. It needs an impeller and a carb kit. We're still waiting on the impeller. So I showed him how to do the carb kit. So we pulled the carb off and um, hosed it down with carb clean and all that kind of stuff. And running absolutely great now, but um, it's not peeing as much as, it, as much as it actually should. So we're not going to run it anymore. We're going to wait on the impeller that's on back order with COVID-19 and everything. Everything's hard to get. So waiting on the impeller but it runs great um we're good there and yeah uh, that's been my day so it's been a lot of work it's like five o'clock um whew. just tired man just tired but the sticks are ready to go up we got all the things wired we got the mast wired everything's ready to go so ready to rock uh maybe tomorrow um try to get it done anyway see you guys Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I want to take a quick minute to do some questions and answers. And yes, I know I need a haircut. It's getting bad. Oh, it's really long. Um, obviously, we can't just go get a haircut. So I'm going to take the clippers to it this weekend and knock it down. So it's uh, 6.30 in the morning right now, having my coffee in my uh, very well-traveled captain mug. Um, so um, the mast is up now. Obviously, the video footage is five days behind. Um, so the mast is up, but last night we had to drop the mast again to run two new halyards that I totally forgot that I had to run two new halyards. So we dropped the mast. I filmed the whole thing for you guys so you can see exactly how we do it all the way down, all the way back up. Um, so that should be um, at least informational for you guys if you got to step your own mast um, because we don't have any professional crew or anything. We just do it ourselves with uh, the gin pole that we have here. Um, so I guess a couple of quick questions I want to answer. Uh, one of them is, is Lady K going anywhere this summer? Um, the answer is hopefully yes. Um, obviously the borders are closed between Canada and the U.S. And um, to get anywhere, we have to bounce across the U.S. to do it. Um, unless I go north or east. So um, I want to go to Tobamori at minimum. Um, my buddy Boat Vagari, um, you guys remember Mark? Um, from the Erie Canal episodes um, on the Whitby. Um, he wants to go to Tobermory in the North Channel and he's just getting his stick up and he's getting everything organized. Or I think he already had the mast up, but he's getting everything organized, his boat's in the water. Um, so I would very, very much like to buddy boat with them again. And they're just on Lake Michigan, so we can actually meet in Lake Huron. Uh, and then we can do Tobermory together and we can do the North Channel together, whatever it is we're gonna do this summer. But we are gonna have very limited um, availability on places we can go. Also, as you guys know, probably I'm working right now because I got to rebuild the cruising kitty. So I'm actually going to put a bunch of hours in the summer and try to rebuild the cruising kitty and get as much money as I can together uh, to be able to fund future adventures. So, um, you know, uh, everything has a cost and this life, boat life, traveling around on a boat, um, you do have to, I mean, unless you have, you're independently wealthy. Um, uh, but anyway, rebuild the cruising kitty and then uh, figure out what's next for Lady K. Um, obviously I'm putting effort into the channel again, making videos again. I took sort of a lot of time off in the winter, um, because there wasn't a lot of footage. There wasn't a lot of stuff to film. So, um, all that said, I think, uh, one more thing I want to say, and, uh, I don't get political on this channel and I'm not going to get political now. Um, uh, but obviously everybody has their opinions and I, I want to say, well, I'm, I'm proud to be Canadian and I love this country. I also have a deep, deep love for the U S um, absolutely, um, just an amazing place, amazing people, very, very beautiful country, um, and has a lot going for it. Uh, but obviously, you know, things are pretty crazy right now in the U.S. So um, our borders are closed. I can't come there anyway. But um, obviously, we're watching it on the news and everything like that. And um, I think I've had a lot of political conversations with other sailors and people that I've met out cruising and things like that. Um, and most of them are American uh, sailors. And I think despite which side of the fence you fall on or despite what your opinion is, the best thing that you can do with each other is to have the conversations and don't get angry. Just be able to have the conversation and say, okay, I see your point of view. And as soon as you can say that to each other, I see your point of view, um, everything becomes a lot easier and, and you find that you can have good relationships with people despite politics and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's hard sometimes to see each other's points of view, but I think uh, regardless of your point of view, um, everybody has some right. Uh, everybody has some correctness in the way they feel and the way they think and, and the way they live their lives and their politics. Um, and there is somewhere and in, in we can all see each other's point of view and meet in the middle. So um, absolutely, I feel for you guys right now. I know there's like protests and riots and not maybe not riots, but looters 
protests and looters and, you know, the president and all this stuff and everything's crazy right now. And amidst it all is COVID-19. So I know it's super stressful times, but I just want to encourage everybody um, the way the way we have with other sailors is just to try to see each other's point of view and, and try to understand where each other are coming from. And then let's all go sailing together. Seems like a good idea. Anyway, I got to wake up. Um, I'm going to head to work pretty soon and then it's the weekend. So we should get some filming done. Um, and you know, have some good times and, and hopefully do a lot more how to stuff uh, over the next uh, couple of months. Every little project I do, I want to film for you guys so that you can see it. So that'd be cool. All right. See you guys next week.